Get your fingers out of your fucking mouths! You know that one meme of Steve Carell from the fucking office? Where he's all like screaming, NO! NO GOD PLEASE NO! 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 That's what I feel right now. It's a Ghost Jim, that's the name of the guy, the Ghost Jim character on Twitter. I'm going to pretty soon, sooner or later, make a stream talking, uh, reviewing that guy's thread and outraging over cuties. And, and so here we are, folks. And by the way, the reason why I play that little bit of my past live stream right there is to emphasize the fact to some uh, detractors of mine that I was planning on doing this stream anyways, that I was not peer pressured into doing this stream, video, whatever, talking about cuties. And by the way, I'm going to be making a video in all eventuality about this, uh, about some drama that I'm embroiled in that is surrounding this uh, stream that I started right here and some earlier statements about that. But that's for a later date. Right now, we have priorities that we have to take place. And that is reviewing Ghost Jim's Twitter thread here, talking about all the incriminating shit and all the defenses for cuties. And so, yeah. Hello, everybody. It is the Dark Conservatarian. And we are here with a rather uncomfortable episode of Strike Force. And the reason why I am doing this in this format, not doing this episode of Strike Force Live, is primarily because I want to keep this stream this video as short as possible because I want to be able to share this to some of my normie friends who might not be interested in watching a two to two and a half three hour long live stream of me talking about cuties because I get distracted with the live chat and so forth so that is why we're that we're here you guys have heard about the whole cuties controversy by now obviously and so and so unfortunately there are some people defending this. I've made a video just recently. Well, actually, no, not just recently. It's three weeks ago that I made a video raising awareness about cuties. And saying in that video, I had made the claim that the, um, that the purpose of the movie was to sexualize children. And supposedly, the people who are defending cuties are coming back with, it's not meant to sexualize children. It, the message is meant to supposedly be against sexualizing children. But, whilst at the same time, they're still sexualizing children. They're still sexualizing children in the production of this movie, and it's just utterly sickening. And so that, I presume, is the main reason why Mr. Ghost Jim here has made this thread, and why I am here right now. Actually, the main reason why I'm here right now reviews, re reviewing this guy's uh, thread is because I'm surprised that this guy did not get taken down from Twitter by now. Honestly. <laughs> I mean, Twitter doesn't like a whole bunch of controversial shit on their platform, and yet I am lucky enough that, what is it, uh, seven days later? No, six days later that this guy's thread is still up for me to review. But... Just an absolute case that this guy's thread gets taken down. That's why that we're here. Just to save the entire thread on recording. And also to get my own reaction and commentary on this whole thing. And by the way, just a little disclaimer for anybody who might be watching. As you can probably tell by the um, original first tweet here from Ghost Jim. He's speaking against cuties. Just to clarify. Some of you probably would have already caught up on that. But just uh, thought I'd let that out. But anyway, we have burned enough time as it is, so let's get right into it. Even if the sexualization is supposedly for a positive message, which the sexualization of children, that should go without saying, is a wrong thing. You do not need to make a whole... Well, I guess uh, you could make a whole movie about it, like against the sexualization of children, but not in this way that they did with the movie Cuties. And with the method that they took... It is with some rather pedophilic acts, and they're just normalizing this shit by having it released on one of the biggest streaming platforms on all the internet, that being Netflix. Ugh. And I'm just going to get more and more heated as I get more into this. And I'm not going to be comfortable making this. 
May God have mercy on my soul for even watching this shit. Let's go, though. This this clip right here, I actually, uh, there was a, it was already shared on Facebook, and I had run across it to see the incriminating evidence myself as to how this is immoral, so I'm not going to watch all of it, but just to give you guys the point of what it is like. Oh, God, that music. What are you doing? Indeed, what are you doing? Indeed, what the fuck are you doing? I would be... <laughs> I would stop them right on the spot there. If I was, like, the parent of these girls right here. And... Oh, God. It goes without saying, obviously. But... All the same, if I was a, uh, if I had found these kids doing this shit, I'd be all like, "Stop it, get some help," as the meme goes. Uh, no. No, no. Okay, yeah, no. We're we're not going to watch any more. But you get the point of that clip right there, and plus there's more clips that goes uh, more into this. I don't feel comfortable watching a whole lot of these clips, and I cannot watch any more of particularly something that I've already watched. But in this clip, they further like show all the four girls, the four main little girls that do in this dance competition, that are joining in this dance competition to join a twerking team in a dance competition, whatever the fuck. And uh, they're just like spanking each other's asses and there's a whole bunch of close-up shots of their butts whatnot uh, by the by the camera for making this movie and it's just it's just utterly disturbing if you were like a sane person it is absolutely disgusting um at least turkey knows child exploitation when it sees it as a uh, ghost gym like links a Article from MiddleEastEye.net, a website that I had never heard of until right now, that goes basically explaining that Turkey has banned Netflix from streaming cuties in that country. So, apparently, Turkey is more based than we are here in the United States. Bravo, Turkey. Bravo. There might be a whole bunch of problems that people can point out about uh, Turkey, but nonetheless, at least they got this shit going for them, that they banned cuties from their streaming platform, and I've already read the article myself, and I will have all the articles linked down below in the description box if you guys want to read all this for yourself. Ghost Jim uh, says, someone needs to go to jail for this shit. Here is another clip right here, folks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through it, but just witness this shit. And the, ol the only reason why we're looking at this really is because there are actually some sick fucks that are making arguments for it. That are defending this. I know you want to shoot, No. 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 Stop. How, how, how many fucking people? All these people watching this shit. What? <laughs> uh, uh, the world we live in. This is how many people that participated in the making this of this movie. Uh, I'm dying right now, folks. Uh, what's that saying go now? The one old Bible verse? If your right eye offendeth you, pluck it out. 
and this shit really is offending my eyes. It is, in turn, offending me. But, fortunately, unfortunately, I have a video here to do. So, no eye plucking for today, folks. No! What? They're making a dick stroking gesture. <laughs> uh, excuse my nervous laughter here, folks, but I'm just, this is, this is utterly stupid. The only way that a person can keep their sanity, well, actually, no, no, it's me losing my sanity is what it is. This, this is, this is torture. Like, hey, uh, I have a new uh, torture method for everybody. And this will probably even like go against the Geneva Convention. Make somebody watch cuties instead of waterboarding them. Right, folks? No. Oh, God. That, that shot. No. Get your fingers out of your fucking mouths! You know that one meme of Steve Carell from the fucking office? Where he's all like screaming no! No, God, please, no! 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 That's what I feel right now. I, I feel attacked. My, my soul feels attacked. Somebody directed these girls, these live-action girls, to do this shit. Like, I don't give a flying fuck. Of what message that you are intending for your movie? You do not take this methodology with this shit. At least, like, they did not go so far to show actual... Well, at least as far as I know, did not go so far to show actual sex scenes between kids or between a kid and an adult. Like, that's the only bit of how worse that this could get right now. In all honesty... I mean, th that would be like full-on, full-blown child porn as if you're like recording two kids making out with each other and then spreading that around and so forth. At least is my understanding of child porn. And so, let me ask uh, this to all the defenders of cuties. And I've asked this before on my uh, Facebook as well. But, no. Let me ask this to all the defenders of cuties. If it is okay to be sexualizing your underage actresses in the name of conveying a message against supposedly sexualization of children? Is it also all rights to be filming two children making out with each, with each other? Actually having full-blown sex? All in the name of supposedly spreading the message against child porn? No! If your answer is no, well then fuck no, by extension, this should be acceptable as well. These girls like making a complete, a complete whores out of themselves. Being directed to make complete, excuse me, to be, to be making complete whores out of themselves by this Mamuna Ducor person. You could make a movie that is against child sexualization in a completely different method that does not, that ultimately does not <laughs> sexualize real life live action children. I mean, if, if I was to like make a movie against child sexualization, here's how I would do it personally. I would have like these uh, girls just, I don't know, joining this random milk toast cheerleading club actual cheerleading, like they're just doing a whole bunch of prissy two-step and uh, hand-waving type stuff. 
but no ass shaking or stroking butts or any of that other bullshit. Absolutely none. But instead, when the girls uh, start doing their completely innocent and childlike dancing instead of this stripper-like dancing right here, one of the directors tells the girls doing the auditioning, um, shake your butt a bit for us. And then the girl is just feeling all uncomfortable. It's all like, no, and whatnot, and just... And they don't show anything. And then ultimately, by the end of that film, the person, the rather pedo, <laughs> that child predator right there, who made such a heinous request, gets thrown in jail and even sentenced to death penalty by the end of, the, of such a movie. That's how I would do it. I mean, all the little smaller details could be worked out. I mean, you guys uh, think of it, but I'm sure that any of us could think up of a better idea of a movie going against child sexualization than this bullshit. So continuing on with the thread, Ghost Jim, I received numerous attacks on my character from people who had not seen the film, who thought I was actually making a film that was apologetic about hypersexualization of children. Cuties director Mamuna Ducor. Really? Really? Fucking really, huh? Could it, it couldn't possibly be because you manipulated and directed these girls to act in a sexualizing manner. What the fuck? <sighs> what the fuck? Oh god, no. No, I cannot do this anymore. I, I, I can't. I can't look at that anymore. The heavy breathing and all that shit. Here's like one of the lesser sexualizing clips. I mean, yeah, there's still a bit of sexualization that happens in this clip, but out of all of them, this has the least length of it happening. This particular clip has out of all the clips shown here, but it's still rather damning. Watch. You came in without paying, so I'm gonna need all your phone numbers so I can call your parents. But the door was wide open. We didn't know you had to pay to come in. Besides, well, you do. we don't have parents. Yeah, that's right. We're sisters. We've been orphans our whole lives. Yeah, yeah. all right. That's enough come bullshit. Come on, we're orphans. Anyway, Knock we've it got off. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious. Hey, hey, hold on. You're not leaving. Hey, hey man, what are you doing? Calm down. Leave her alone. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let go Stop of you. Stop coughing at me, you I child molester. What's the matter with you, man? Uh, that is that is exactly the epitome example of a little brat right there. As soon as an adult is trying to act in a responsible manner of trying to get a whole bunch of rebels back to their respectable parents, respectable guardians, they're going to be all like, oh, what's, what's the problem? You like some pervert for children or some bullshit? In order to try and make the adult feel stupid and just want to back off completely. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna let go Stop of you. Stop coughing at me, you I child yeah. molester. What's the matter with you, man? He fucking grabbed her by the arm. He wasn't molesting her. Get on out here. Your friend was trying to grope us. No, 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 yeah. no, no, not at all. What happened is these us. girls snuck in through the service door. Yeah, because grabbing by the arm is apparently groping nowadays. If I was to try and yank a some kid out of harm's way like a car was about to hit them or whatever and I was to yank them by the arm to get them out of the way and that person was to claim and that little kid was to claim that I was groping them well then we've completely lost the plot at that point oh we got into the finals whatever you shouldn't be in the finals for something like this. Heck, you shouldn't have even been in the auditions for some bullshit like this. I'm calling the cops, I'm not joking. No, 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 please, sir. We're dancers in a competition, and we just found out that we made it to the finals. If you call the cops, we won't be able to go. <laughs> hey, I'm a dancer. Fucking good, then. Two. <laughs> you should die. It's true. We're dancers, look. 
Yeah, 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 yeah,
Cuties is a landmark in the movement to normalize and legalize child sexual exploitation. Not on my watch, Satan. Indeed. In, in fucking deed right there, dude. And this, that is why that so many people are speaking out against this. And I'm just going to add that I am not some career or habitual pedo hunter myself. But the biggest reason why I go interjecting on this, given my viewpoint, is because this is so big. This story of cuties, this subject matter, is a lot bigger than just some random idiot who says that children can consent on the internet. Tessa Thompson, Cuties is a beautiful film. It gutted me at Sundance Fest. It introduces a fresh voice at the helm. She's a French Senegalese uh, black woman. I do not give a flying fuck about the color of this woman. I don't care about her gender. I don't care if it's like fresh voices at the helm or whatever. Like all the, a lot of us anti-SJWs and just the Hollywood skeptics in general were saying that there needs to be some new content in Hollywood and so forth. But this is not the way to go about it. This is not, this is not the new shit that we were wanting. I would rather take rehashings of the old shit like Star Wars, Terminator, all that other bull crap. I'd rather take rehashings than dis enter the sphere at all. She's a French Senegalese black woman mine, mining her experiences. The film comments on the hypersexualization of pre adolescent girls. Disappointed to see the current discourse. Tessa, you fucking moron. Tessa Thompson, isn't she the actress who played in Thor Ragnarok as the Valkyrie woman? I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to watch that movie the same ever again ever since reading this. Tessa Thompson, you're a fucking idiot and a sick individual. And really, you are just... I don't care if you're intending it or not. Your rhetoric is defending pedophilic acts. England's The Independent Newspaper. Oh, God. And I've read The Independent and relied on them as a news site and a source of information before. I might have to just completely, utterly disavow and disown them as anything of a reliable source after today. Netflix's cuties is too intelligent and moving to be marred by one bad taste poster. No. Yeah, sure. If you consider, like, doing shit that'll get you on the FBI watch list to be intelligent, well then, yeah, sure, that's far intelligent. Big brain activity right there, folks. Mm. You idiot. Mamuna Dukor's film about an 11-year-old girl searching for her place in the world is an important contribution to the coming-of-age genre. More like it'll be a landmark contribution to a pedophilic agenda, you bitch. Last month, Netflix felt compelled to apologize. By its own admission, the streaming service had done Cuties, a French film released on the platform this 9th of September, a monumental disservice. The creators of the movie are the ones who did a disservice. Netflix and the creators are doing a massive disservice. The creators of Cuties for making this shit in the first place, and also Netflix is doing a disservice for spreading around this bullshit, all of, or in the name of making a buck. The problem originated with a poster release and subsequently removed by Netflix. While the French version depicts 11-year-old protagonist Amy and her friends gleefully carrying a bunch of shopping bags, Netflix's took a much different approach. In its The Girls Are On Stage, three of them mid-twerk, all of them adopting provocative poses in revealing hardly age-appropriate outfits. That's what they are like in the movie, dipshit! 
So if you're going to condemn the poster for that shit, you should be condemning the fucking movie for that, too! The image does, in fact, reflect a specific scene in the film, but without context and without director Maimuna Ducora's skilled story... Oh... Skilled storytelling. I just died a little bit on the inside just reading that aloud. It's not skillful. It's completely idiotic. And I would not be surprised, honestly, if uh, she and the makers were freaking attracted to children. Were pedos themselves. I mean, I'm not going to say for an absolute fact of anyone being pedos, but it makes one highly suspect of anyone who would contribute in this movie at all. At the least bit, they are exploiting children in a pedophilic manner and in a way they're being pedo defenders it fatally fails to reflect the essence of cuties no in all honesty the poster did capture it fairly well it just wasn't uh, showing the alleged message that Mamuna Ducor was supposedly intending for the movie it, but it was like reflecting the essence of what happens in the film fair, pretty well. Amy, Fathia, Yusuf, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Yusuf, get your girl out of this shit. I, I think that it's, you know what, I say that it's suspect as far as what the distributors of Cuties are doing and suspect of what the makers of this movie are doing. But let's not forget the parents as well. Unless the parents tried but ultimately failed in preventing these girls from doing this shit then it's suspect if you know what I mean on that the film examines the way in which our culture inappropriately hypersexualizes girls bodies you could have done that without actually sexualizing the girls within the production of your damn film we're deeply sorry for the inappropriate artwork that we use for Minona's cuties Netflix tweeted you should be sorry for more than that, Netflix. You should be sorry for more than that. And because you are not, you can burn for all I care. Definitely financially. But even if there was like an angry mob of anti-pedo activists that was standing right outside your door and then finally decided to just barge in and completely ransack whatever headquarters that you're at, Netflix, over this shit... I don't condemn it. I don't. It was not okay, nor was it representative of this French film which won an award at Sundance. We've now updated the pictures and description. That's not enough. You should not have posted it at all. Cuties can still find fans abroad, but it deserved to do so without any of the accompanying noise. No, it did not deserve- oh my gosh. You're a pedo defender. You, you, you fucking Clements Michelin. It is crucially not a movie in favor of hypersexualization. Fuck you. Fuck you. That I'm go just gonna say it. There's like an ulterior motive. There has gotta obviously be an ulterior motive in the production of this movie right here, folks. This is sick. And really. By extension, let me put it this way. If we are going to say that sexualizing little girls in the production of a movie is alright for making the message against sexualizing girls, well then what's to say that a director was going to say that take that same methodology, that same methodology, sexualizing underage girls, to transfer the message for sexualizing girls. You just really put us on a slippery slope. Even if one was to grant the benefit of the doubt that this is uh, all right, which it obviously is not, it still like puts us on a damn slippery slope that is greased with fucking axle grease at a fucking at a fucking 40 degree grade of a slope to the get us into the position of where that people are now making movies 
sexualizing their actresses for the message for sexualizing little girls. Congratulations, Moomark Decor. Congratulations, Netflix. You done fucked up. You done fucked the world as it is. Just because a work of art depicts something, that doesn't mean it's advocating for it. Fuck you. You were actually doing the thing that you're supposedly speaking out against. You are self-defeating. If that were the case, no thriller would ever get written. No rape scene, no burglary even, would ever be depicted on screen. Except, there's one difference. One big, starking, massive difference. With all the production of those movies, like generally speaking at least, I'm sure that there's an exception out there. But with uh, looking at thrillers and horror movies and movies that d display rape scenes, there is no actual raping going on. There is no actual slaughtering of people going on within the production of the movie. It's only simulated. Simulated. Do you know what the fuck simulated means? That means that it was fake. That the stuff being shown on the screen was faked. But this, this is real. If you wanted to, if you wanted to do some fake shit to try and display this shit, <laughs> the least that you should have done, well, even this I don't think uh, should have been done. The least that would have been done if you wanted to fake this shit is have CGI girls at doing this shit, or even having actual appropriate age adults. Acting as younger age people, little underage girls, acting as uh, characters a whole lot younger than them for presenting this message and whatnot. I mean, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy did that with, uh, you know, the depiction of Spider-Man. Like, uh, Tobey Maguire was, what, 23, 25 at the time of the original production of Spider-Man uh, when he was acting as Peter Parker. I mean, heck, even Tom Holland in the current iteration of Spider-Man, he's freaking 19. He was freaking 19 when he originally got into the role of Spider-Man. Or at least 18. I would have to fact check myself on that. But he was still considerably older, noticeably older, than what they were depicting Peter Parker to be within the lore of Spider-Man. Even that was fake. Even Tom Holland was faking being a 16-year-old boy. At its heart, Cuties captures the casual and at times not so casual violence and v volatility of female friendships at that age. Watching Amy attempt to fit in with her new clique, I found myself revisiting my own pre-adolescence, that feeling of watching the world from the sidelines. You know what? Fuck! This whole thing about cliques and uh, becoming friends with the new cliques, that type of shit is presented in fucking Hannah Montana. Anybody remember the Disney show Hannah Montana? And I know that I might be like showing a bit of a, I don't know, a faggoty side of myself in this, but yeah, literally, I did watch Hannah Montana. That fucking shit... Like, doing a review and analysis on cliques, on girls within their friend cliques, that stuff, that type of shit was analyzed in Hannah Montana. And so many other tween drama movies that don't sexualize these underage actresses. For all its explorations of what it means to exist in a girl's body, Cuties never leads its viewers astray. Decor never wavers from her original intentions. The girls in the movie are so obviously children. Yeah, which is why this shit shouldn't be done in the way that it is. Not just that, they're childish, immature, riddled with growing pains. Cuties is too important and too clever a film to be subjected to the kind of policing that's being directed at it. No. No. It's not too good or too clever or too important. There are plenty of other pieces of media that go conveying the same message that this movie is allegedly intended to do that does not sexualize kids you're still completely missing the point you bitch mrs independent writer as to why that people are outraged at this that it sexualizes children watch it no thanks
No thanks. I am not spending any time to watch the full damn thing at all. Will you feel uncomfortable doing so? Probably. No, definitely. Unless you're some sick pedo fuck, you are going to be uncomfortable viewing any of the sexualizing scenes in this movie. There's no probably about it. Unless you literally are a pedophile who has some lust for underage people. Here's the official petition to cancel cuties. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and save that so that I could like post the link down in the description box below. I'm going to uh, post this link down in the description box below so that other people can sign it as well. Continuing on with the thread, Ghost Jim says, Damn those right-wing campaigns against pedophilia? Question mark. Yes, because a whole lot of people are making this a left versus right thing. This should not be a left versus right thing. I mean, I know I've said before that a whole lot of things uh, have been politicized, and it's the reality of the world that some things be uh, politicized that should not be politicized. Like I say, for example, that abortion really shouldn't be a political issue, shouldn't be a politicized issue, but unfortunately that's not the reality of the world that we live in. But pedophilia objectively should not be politicized or political at all. There shouldn't be a left versus right. It's a right versus wrong. Cuties, the extraordinary Netflix debut that became the target of a right wing campaign. By Richard Brody. Fuck you, dick. Which that literally is his name, apparently. It is a dick, or at least that's a nickname for Richard, anyways. The subject of cuties isn't twerking. But that's literally what goes on. That's literally what goes on, you fucking moron. It's children who are deprived of the education and the emotional support to put sexualized media and pop culture into perspective. I don't care. I don't care. It's not, it's not about twerking. I don't care if it's not about twerking. Twerking actually goes on. Underage twerking actually goes on. And that's why that we're all condemning it. Fuck you for taking things completely out of perspective. I doubt that the scandal mongers, scandal mongers, this is a fucking scandal. Nobody is mongering anything. Who includes some well-known figures of the far right? Well, you know what? You know what? If being against cuties is a far-right position, well then I guess far-right did nothing fucking wrong. Have actually seen... I doubt that the scandal mongers have actually seen cuties. No, we've seen bits and pieces and heard information about it. That is far more than enough to know that we should be against this shit. The only reason why anybody would be like posting any evidence of what goes on on screen of what was produced is against all these cuties apologists but some elements of the film that weren't presented in the advertising would surely prove irritating to them it's the story of a girl's outrage at and defiance of a patriarchal order i don't give a flying fuck this is not just about that I will not say that I don't give a fuck, like, it would still be annoying if I, a movie that has, like, a starkingly disagreeable message on a streaming service that I'm paying for, I mean, I mean, it's one thing to have a movie with a starkingly disagreeable message that is on a streaming service that I'm paying for, <coughs> dear white people, <coughs> It's an entirely different thing for you to be sexualizing children in the production of your film. Which is what happens here. If this movie was just purely about, oh, men bad, uh, and feminists good, patriarchy oppressive, and just blah blah blah, all that other third wave feminist garbage, I would not have gotten rid of my subscription from Netflix. But no, this is about far more than that. Though many of Amy's actions are dubious, her spirit of revolt is nonetheless sublime and heroic. No! Just no! There's, there's nothing inherently right about revolt or rebellion, especially when it comes to a parental side of things. The only reason that, the only way that rebellion would be 
a sublime and heroic thing is that the parents are like literally forcing the kid to like be of a certain religion that they don't want to be part of or the parents are i don't know abusing the kids like beating the shit out of them that would be the only way that revolt or rebellion against parents would be right but stuff something like one to twerk against their own parents wishes and uh, so many other things as well that I could uh, go naming off of no no it's not sublime or heroic it's fucking sick cuties dr dramatizes what people of color and immigrants endure as a result of isolation and ghettoization good lord all of these red herrings that people like to pull oh the the argumentation around cuties seems to be just chock full of a bunch of red herrings. Oh, it's about uh, a black female that is like living in a, an oppressive world. It was made by a black uh, female director and all that other stuff. No one gives a shit. Don't care. Stop distracting from the issue. That idea is brought to the fore in an extraordinary, brief, symbolic ending. It's enough to give a right winger a conniption. Yes, because being anti-pedo is so uh, anti is so right wing. You're a fucking idiot. And uh, you know what? I want to congratulate you. Thank you, Dick Brody, for being such a uh, pedo defender and for making conservatism and right wingers look so good. But all the same, I wish it wasn't like this. All other leftists who are not speaking out for this movie should be speaking out against this politicization of pedophilic acts. Rolling Stone wants you to know that this film is merely caught up in a culture war and it's uh, actually a sensitive portrait of bleh. You know what? I'm getting tired right now and just completely drained and worn out. I'm not going to read into uh, probably any more articles really. Uh, at least uh, here while recording this anyways. I'm going to pull it up to link it f for later in the description box. But you guys get the point. But I, I cannot take any more of this shit. Arguments for the movie of Cuties. While we're all here, I'd like to point out another movie. A woman's consuming love forces her to bear the clone of her dead beloved. From his infancy to manhood, she faces the unavoidable complexities of her controversial decision. Spoiler alert, she has sex with her own son. Yuck. Who is a clone of her dead husband. That's the lengths they went to so they can make a movie about incest. Oh, good lord. Bonus, the official poster has a young boy's naked ass with a naked woman staring at his genitals. What the fuck? No. Just no. I fully, I fully expect my account to be nuked for simply calling out this movie. Yeah, and I, I'm lucky. I am fucking lucky that I caught you on time, Ghost Jim. Pedophiles run the entertainment industry, social media, and most of the world. I wish that was a conspiracy theory. I really do. Avenge me! <laughs> yeah. And so, that's why I'm here, Ghost Jim. To avenge you. Or at least, record you, anyways. Record your whole freaking thread here. Save it in the archives. In case your tw uh, Twitter gets taken down. Hopefully we'll get Lana Loctef and Henrik uh, Palmgren's reactions to this on Flashback Friday, Red Ice TV. I think Red Ice TV, if I am uh, assuming correctly, is an alt-right media source. But at this point in the game, I don't care what guilt by associations people like to pull in regards of, you know, all these uh, center and moderate right wingers. They are like associating with alt-righters and so forth against this movie. That's not an argument. Guilt by association is not an argument. I do not condone the idea of a white ethno state or anything else that the alt-right stands for. But under this idea against cuties, I will unite with them against this, uh, this movie. I will stand uh, side by side with them in this proudly. 
And even a fucking communist who might be outspoken rather passionately against this movie, I will stand side by side with them against this movie. Even if, like, in the plausible future that they go joining some revolution, try to, like, steal my property because, oh, bourgeoisie bad, employer is bad, uh, business owner is bad, or whatever. Even though if in that plausible situation, I might have to kill them. I'll still put aside those differences for the sake of fighting pedophilia because it's one thing for communism to be normalized or whatever. I mean, we've already had it happen in mass scales throughout society, so that is too late. Communism should be stopped, obviously. Uh, me speaking as a free marketeer, as a capitalist. Um, but aside from that, pedophilia even more so should not be normalized at all paging Tara La Rosa we need your help busting some heads and this is the kind of justice liberal societies dish out to pedophiles these days let's read this um, 2 million indecent child images sending him to prison is akin to giving him a death sentence due to underlying health issues Dursley Man 73 had 2 million indecent uh, child images. Gets a two year suspended sentence. You should set. You sh he should at least be sent to prison for life. And maybe before he dies in prison from old age, he gets uh, killed off by some drug dealer in the prison that he's in because of, you know, this pedophilic shit that he is pulling. Either way. Or he gets immediately killed by the state, given the death penalty. Either w way, any way you spell it, well, it is indecent imagery. I do not know if I would go so far that a uh, person deserves death just for the possession of child porn. But let me just state that a person that is unapologetically possessing porn and does not give a fuck what other people think about it and is just proudly possessing it or whatever... Well, then uh, just know that I do not feel any sympathy or empathy if they do get killed. Okay, here's the bathroom scene I mentioned. If they were trying to make a point, they missed it by being so damn graphic. I'm not even watching that. I'm just so drained. I can't watch any more of the clips. Those clips that were shown above in this thread right here is damn well enough to incriminate this movie. And that's what I have to say. I go hearing vaguely that Ted Cruz is like taking people in freaking court. The people that produced and are spreading this movie, he's taking the. Well, okay, he cannot do so much about the producers and directors because those are in France, but taking Netflix's staff into court for, you know, accepting cuties and possibly try to push for it to be made illegal. Ultimately, I do think cuties should be made illegal. And if in the event of it being made illegal, within the minutia of the law, it says that even the showcasing of those twerking scenes is illegal, no matter what context that you're showcasing them in, and it forces me to delete this video entirely, well then, I'll proudly do it. If Cuties is made illegal. Until then, let this stand as evidence to you, my audience, you, my viewers, to know how immoral this sick fuckery is. I'd like to introduce you to Californian Senator Scott Weiner. Um, pedophile California Senator wants to legalize sex with boys. Right, and I go hearing about how California is in fact trying to make it easier on pedos. Damn every single person who voted for that bill in California. Every one of them. May God have mercy on your souls if you voted yay on that bill. State Senator Scott Weiner, Democrat, San Francisco. The same lawmaker who co-sponsored a bill in 2017 to remove the felony penalty for knowingly exposing another person to HIV has introduced a bill, Senate Bill 145, to give judges more flexibility in sentencing gay men who abuse minors. Kamala Harris fully supports this demon. I'm actually a fairly liberal guy, just not when it comes to pedophiles and their enablers. Yeah, and might I say, this guy, he was like tagging a couple of possible, I suspect, alt-writers, and yet he's a liberal guy himself. This guy does not give a fuck. 
He might be like center left, centrist, or center right, or whatever the fuck have you. But it's just seeming that he is like passionately outspoken for this shit. And yet he's a probable leftist. So at real Donald Trump is running against a man who clearly has mental and physical health issues and a woman who, among many other things, supports the man who is trying to make homosexual child abuse less illegal. One step at a time, folks. Um, Senator Scott Weiner, I'm over the moon that at Joe Biden has selected the amazing Kamala Harris, my friend of almost 20 years as his running mate. Kamala will help win this election will help heal our nation and is ready to lead. This is a great day for the Democratic Party and for our country. It is not a great day for the Democratic Party, but hopefully it's a great day for the country because, think about it, folks, really, with the kind of dirt that Kamala Harris has right now of being kind of indirectly tied with the pedo crap, that means that it, the Democratic Party is going to be sunk in the presidential election absolutely sunk democrats you are just asking to lose the election at this point and i hope you do at this point i at the, i am starting to become more and more pro trump by the moment with how ridiculous our country is getting i mean trump is uh, probably not the most outspoken uh, against uh, cuties himself or at least not that i hear anyways by any tweets and whatnot but all the same, all the ridiculousness of the riots and this pedophilia type crap just makes me want to at least make the Democrats lose. I mean, even if uh, Trump is uh, not outspoken enough on cuties, it's better to have the person who is remaining neutral on a subject than to have the person who is outright for this, uh, a certain subject, this certain piece of shit right here in the presidency and he goes citing a tweet that says the pride parade isn't happening this year but the spirit of pride fighting for a more just and equitable society is still very much with us today in addition to attending a pride protest i'm remembering amazing post to uh, past parades where we celebrated and recommitted happy pride no i have my issues with the pride parade but that is, but, but that's another issue entirely. All I'm going to say is that I'm just going to leave it right there, folks. As far as the sick fuckery that is ghost, that ghost Jim is showcasing right here. I hope that uh, that cuties gets banned, and I hope that Netflix at this point. Either all the upper, higher up staff should be fucking replaced by Netflix, or Netflix should absolutely go underwater, get bankrupt, and lose business. Let them be replaced by other streaming services. But nonetheless, that's all I have to say for this right here. And I hope that this message spreads. And to the left, to any average Joe leftist or anybody who has not spoken out enough against cuties speak out speak out against cuties do it this needs to be stopped even more so than any other political disagreement that we have speak out take action even if at all practically needed i'm the dark conservatarian fuck cuties fuck netflix Fuck all the apologists of this film, and fuck, fuck it all. Just fuck 2020. Right in the asshole. And if you give your money to Netflix, you would do best to boycott this shit as well, might I say. Have a good day.